Mr. President of the General Assembly, Excellency, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to join you to celebrate the life and achievements of Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest leaders of our time, a moral giant whose legacy continues to guide us today. Let me also express condolences to Madiba's family and the people of South Africa on the untimely passing of his daughter, Zinzi Mandela, this month. On today's commemoration of Nelson Mandela Day, I'm delighted to extend my warmest congratulations to the 2020 laureates of the United Nations Nelson Rorley Lala Mandela Prize, Miss Mariana Vardinoyanis of Greece and Dr. Morisana Kuyate of Guinea. Both are recognized for their long-standing commitment to the service of humanity in the areas of human rights, access to health care, and the empowerment of women and girls and the most vulnerable in society. I commend them for advancing the United Nations mission and carry on the extraordinary legacy of Nelson Mandela. As Madiba himself once said, and I quote, as long as poverty, injustice, and gross inequality persist in our world, none of us can truly rest, end of quote. This message was the core of the Nelson Mandela lecture I delivered this weekend. High and rising levels of inequality threaten our well-being and our future. Inequality damages everyone. It is a break on human development and opportunities, and is associated with unfair international relations, but also with economic instability, corruption, financial crisis, increased crime, and poor physical and mental health. The answer lies in a new social contract to ensure economic and social justice and respect for human rights. A new social contract within societies will enable young people to live in dignity. It will ensure women have the same prospects and opportunities as men, and it will protect the sick, the vulnerable, and minorities, minorities of all kinds. Excellencies, this year we mark Nelson Mandela Day while COVID-19 continues to spread. The pandemic endangers everyone, everywhere, especially the most vulnerable. COVID-19 has been likened to an X-ray revealing fractures in the fragile skeleton of our societies, and it has laid bare risks we have ignored for decades. In healthcare, gaps in social protection, structural inequalities, environmental degradation, the climate crisis. In response, we need world leaders to foster unity and solidarity. First, to reduce the common threat of the pandemic, and second, to promote, a, to promote a recovery that will build more sustainable, inclusive, and gender equal societies and economies. Societies and economies that uphold the inherent dignity and worth of every person. As we celebrate Madiba and his lifelong struggle for justice and equality, we must recognize that we still face the persistent plague of racism. The abomination violates the charter. This abomination violates the charter of the United Nations and these insults our core values. Every day in our work across the world, we must strive to do our part to promote inclusion, justice, and dignity. We must combat racism in all its manifestations. Excellencies, as the United Nations marks the 75th anniversary in this fragile time, let us reflect on the life and work of Nelson Mandela, who embodied the highest values of the United Nations and who took action and inspired change. Despite many years as a prisoner of conscience, Madiba retained his dignity and commitment to his ideals. Let his example convince any government that keeps such prisoners to, to release them. There should be no prisoners of conscience in the 21st century. On this Mandela Day, let us recall that we, are, that we all have a part to play in the quest for a better future of dignity, opportunity, and prosperity for all people on a healthy planet. Thank you.